I'm just oh, are we back on line? I'm just checking. Give me one second before you start talking. Yeah, one second. Okay, okay, you're live, you're live. All right, we're back online, guys. I have no clue what happened. So let me give everyone just a chance before I start cooking just to get back in. Uh, I guess the app just quit again. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time at the end, when I was about to wrap it, when I was doing guesting, it just randomly quit. Why? You're going to have to ask the you now gods, but I don't know. So the app, or the iPad gods, for God's sake. So I don't know why I just decided to quit like that, so I'm going to quickly wait a minute. And just kind of explain to you guys so everyone to get back in because I don't want anyone to miss oh, anything. You're trending. You're trending. Hopefully Why? We get back up there. Everyone is on. Autumn, it's Autumn we invited 205 fans. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. What the heck just happened? Oh. We were trending. Everyone had invited their followers. Damn it. Damn. Oh, it, it's uh, 17 Ricky L and said it's fine, stupid you now. Yeah, stupid you, stupid you now. Well, it wasn't really you now. I think it was the app. Yeah, I think it happened. Um, Max Tanky asked what happens. What happened? So the app just like randomly quit again. Why? I don't know. You're going to have to ask Siri, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so uh, I'm going to wait a few minutes just for everyone to get back. Oh, Luke just gave 400 likes. Thank you, Luke. Luke, thank you so much, man. That is awesome. But let, let's keep it up. So, like I said, if we get me back training on you now, invite your don't fans. Worry. Yeah, don't. I believe seven much. just gave four hundred likes. Thank you so much. I believe seven. You guys are awesome. All right. So, like I said, I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I'm going to get it in, and then I'll continue because I don't want anyone uh, to. What's your favorite thing to bake? My favorite thing to bake. Um, I I, I like cake. <laughs> I mean, lately I've been craving sugar around around the house, but I've been going to the healthy alternative, which is an orange, so a big pat on the back. It's not like I just ate a bowl of uh, coffee ice cream, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, should we get started or wait? All right, All right we'll wait a few. You got any questions yet? Uh, no. All right, we're waiting. That's it. Let me know. You know what? Invite, invite your fans. Let's get this trending. You were trending yeah. five minutes last time. Let's try four minutes. I know. That sucks. Man. You know what? I'll um, give you. Yeah. Uh, Christopher asked, "What's your favorite food and why?" What's your favorite food and why? I like a nice steak, to be honest. But I, I say this a lot. Why? I just like steak, just for the pure reason of a nice steak or any kind of beef, really. Uh, where are you from? Um, from I'm actually H. I live in Orlando, Florida. So. Uh, TCX05 invited 670 fans. Thank you. All right, let's and keep that invited guys. 226 fans. Thank you, Luke. Oh, you need Mello. She was just, or she or he were just there. They were just there. What asked what happened? What happened? So basically what happened was the iPad decided to, the app quit on the iPad. So you guys got to blame Siri, not me. <laughs> but I don't know why. I just randomly quit. Like I said, that happened last time. So not my fault. Uh, Luke just gave 50 likes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Luke. You're awesome, man. Franklin S. said, we should make a cookbook. You should make a cookbook. I'm actually inside the process of making a cookbook. I have a bunch of We're recipes right now. Yes! Yes! Yay! We're back on. So we bounced back from our little mistake. So I think I should get started then. All right, oh, let's uh, get started. Sorry, yep. how was the Millennium Mall thing? Sorry, I couldn't be there How was the Millennium Mall uh, demo? I couldn't be there to support you. First of all, don't worry about that because it went awesome. I had an amazing, uh, the whole time, it was the blast. I mean, there was no words to describe it. I mean, I took so many pictures and all that stuff. So it was really cool. And it was an amazing time. And I even got this super cool chef jacket. Oh, so that was pretty uh, cool. Jason is here. Jason. Hey, Jason, thank you so much. Uh, who's behind the camera? Who's behind my camera? That is my awesome sister. And then, like I said, my mom's not in town right now. But she's helping me film this, so. Uh, rock out with my son, 100 likes of the iris. Thank you so much. That is awesome. A, a shout out to uh, oh. her. She was awesome last time. Oh, yeah, awesome. Thank you for tuning and, in. And uh, Hey, It's Max invited 11,000 fans to this broadcast. Thank you. 11,000? That's like sure. crazy. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Thank you so much. That was awesome. All right, so we're going to get started now, guys. Now that we bounce back from trending so let's get this started guys so what i did so we're going to start by getting our mise en place done here now mise en place is just gave 100 likes whoa thank you so much Luke. awesome all right so we're going to start off uh just by once again explaining what we're making because probably got cut off so i'm making a seared rack of lamb with uh crispy potato crisp that sounded really 
potato crisp, not crispy potato crisp. That, that's, that's really funny though. With uh, basil pesto and then also some sauteed pearl onions and corn. It's so delicious. Um, it is like, guys, I mean, I know it sounds simple, but if I didn't tell you what was inside the dish and I show you the plating, you would not believe that I, that it's just such simple stuff. So what I did, we're, we're going to get our mise en place started, which is just a fancy word, like I said, for getting all your prep work. So I sliced my potatoes, and then now we're going to get our pearl onions ready. Oh, Jamie C just gave 400 likes. Thank 400 you. 400 likes. Thank you so much, Jamie C. Keep it up, man. All right. So pearl onions. You know, notice that I went like that. Because if you can't find pearl onions, and to be honest, they are a little bit on the expensive side. So, I mean, it's pretty hard to find. So if you can't, don't worry. I mean, even I didn't find them today. So we're going to improvise and make it seem like there's pearl onions, but in reality, it's not. So what I did was I sliced it in half and then take the skin out. And now the best thing about it is that you'll probably be, you won't be using a lot of the onion, but what you can do is just store it and wrap it in some plastic wrap and use it later. So technically, so technically you won't be wasting anything and you'll have a beautiful looking presentation kind of thing for your dish. So all you do, I just skin it like how you would regular chop an onion and grab your thumb and just go right in there. Hey, do you make fake and salmon? Do you make fake salmon? I have salmon? a few questions. Um, I've made, yeah, yeah just keep them coming. Um, um, I've made salmon on crude. Uh, I haven't made fake salmon in a while. I make it. I don't, I don't really make it. <laughs> I mean, I know, I, like, I used to make baked fish, kind of, but not really, but now my palate has evolved, so I don't really. Yeah, from nice not pan fried well. salmon to non cheap yeah. salmon. And, yeah. uh, uh, ooh, question about yeah. me. Does your sister like to cook? Does your sister like to cook? I do. She actually does like to cook. She is a, she's an amazing baker. I will tell you guys this. She is really, really cool. I mean, the stuff that she can come up with is pretty darn good. So I would actually like it if she could kind of maybe one time come on. One day. And not she, today. And not, not today. Not, not today. today. But maybe give us a baking lesson. I think that would be pretty cool. Because, I mean, I'm pretty good. Let us know what you guys want to make. We can do it together. Yeah. We'll have, yeah, that would be special. Cool. If you guys get this, we get all your plants, get this yeah. broadcast to a hundred, hundred things. I will come on and make whatever you guys want next broadcast. Yes. Okay? What she said. Alright, so uh, a few yeah. questions. Uh, what was it like finding out you made it on MasterChef Junior? What was it like finding out when you made it on MasterChef Junior? Now, a lot of you guys think I'd probably be jumping for joy, but if you ask anyone inside the room that was there at the time, I just stood there like I was in complete shock. So that was, I, I mean, I was like, oh my god, I just, didn't, I just couldn't believe it. That's all. So, uh, right. what was it like on MasterChef Junior and what did you enjoy about it? What was it like on MasterChef Junior, and what did you enjoy about it? To be honest, I enjoyed the whole process of it. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, meeting all the judges, the kitchen, all that stuff was extremely cool. Uh, so, official Bradley here. Official Bradley, thank you so much for going mm -hmm. back. Yeah, yeah, because the broadcasts are at quit. So, oh, so like, see what happened. It was serious people here. I know. Wait, oh. we had sixty people. Okay. Um. How old is your sister? How old is your sister? I'm 16. She's 16. Uh, I'm actually trying. Have you ever question. tried cake decorating? My friend does it, and it's awesome. Have you ever tried cake decorating? Yeah. I actually have, yeah. So, believe it or not, before I went off to Master Junior, I didn't really know how to bake. I'm being honest here, my friends. And so, me and my mom, we went to a kind of, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was like... Um, culinary boot camp, Rocky Sun. Yeah, basically, like, like the Rocky theme song. Yeah, all that, all, all that kind of Rocky theme song stuff. But so I actually ended up getting like this little book, and I made a craft town buttercream, and all I did <laughs> was just practice on like these. It was just a piece of paper that had some plastic wrap on it, and they told you where to go. So I would just go like that. But now I'm pretty good with, with the the ball piping and stuff. Um, what's your favorite meal to cook, and what's your sister's favorite thing to cook? What's, man, Zia's the coming at school. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, what's Daniel. your favorite thing to cook, and uh, what's my favorite thing to cook? I like cooking a steak. What about you, Zia? Do you like baking more? Sure. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. All right, so I'm trying to get this 
I'm seeing how I'm getting like these nice little pearl onions. That's how our pearl onion, but all right. So I think that should be good. I don't know if we'll need more, but I don't have too many currently. All right, so I'm going to cheat on this one and trim this guy up to make it look like it was an onion, but that was a complete fail. You know what? That's actually good. See, my knife skills are on point. All right, so now that we have all this leftover onion, I have so I have more over there. Just set it aside, and you can use it later. So now you Jamie see just gave 400 likes. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're awesome. All right, one sec. I'm trying to save the onion. Hashtag save the onion. Just kidding. All right, so we have most of our prep done. So now we're going to get to the actual basis of the cooking. All right, so always important to keep it a nice, clean station. So I'll put this right over here. And we can actually start sauteing our corn, our onions, all that stuff. Before we do that, we're actually going to be frying our potato crisp because that's how you get it crunchy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly turn our pot of oil on really low heat so when I'm ready to use it, I'll turn it on high and I'll still be warm and all that good stuff. All right, so let's grab our corn. Now this is frozen corn, and typically if you took it right out of the freezer, you'd have to blanch it and then sear it. But since it's been sitting out, it's actually good to go. Okay, one sec, guys. Hey, okay, we're having like it's a little bit. You see how it's going back and forth? You have to flip it. So just give us one minute. Yeah, one sec. Okay. We're, we're flipping it. One sec, guys. Three sixty flip. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna align this a little better, or no? It's uh, upside down right now. Have to put the it's not working. working. Yeah, so I think that's okay. Did you just leave that? Sorry, guys. One sec. There we go. That's better. Luck of the Irish. Someone sent 100 luck of the Irish. We need the luck of the Irish. We do. We do. We do. Point. Oh, maybe. At the end of the rainbow, and I'll get myself a bunch of kitchen aids. No, I'm just kidding. That probably. Alright, so I'll start by turning on my pan. Uh, a few questions. Um, yep. Uh, sorry. Uh, why are you broadcasting today and not Monday? Why are you broadcasting today and not Monday? That is an extremely good question. Um, I'm actually going away to the YE Awards in LA this weekend. And, um, yeah, so that's probably why. And then last week I also did it on Thursday. And next Monday, just to make it up to you guys, I'm, I apologize for all the dates, which is, to make it up to you guys, next Monday, I'll be having a special broadcast with a mystery guest uh, in when, L.A. When did, you start figuring all the when, when did you start to know you were going to audition for Master Junior? When did you start to know you were going to audition for Master Junior? When did you start to know when you audition for Master Junior? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I had a, I found that the next, because I missed the season two or three or something auditions, so I, I, I just started training, so I, when the next ones came out, I found the dates, and I knew I'd be ready, so I kind of made a goal, and that's how I ended up auditioning. I just completely went for it, basically. Oh, Rocket with my invited 516 fans. Awesome, thank you uh, so Phil much. Invited you invited 660 fans. fans. Awesome. And you 400 likes. 400 likes, thank you. If you Like I said, guys, invite your fans so we can get me trending on you now. Yeah, our, our, like our I said, Mm, uh, I don't know. Like you said, if we get to 100 viewers this broadcast, we'll have viewers. a special broadcast. 100 yes. viewers. Invite everyone. <laughs> Alright, so, then, yeah. Sorry. No worries. One sec. Uh, what question did come to Uh, where did you learn how to cook? Where did you learn how to cook? <clears throat> um, well, my mom taught me a lot of the stuff, but then, um, I was enrolled in, like, an online, uh, cooking program and all that stuff, so that's kind of where I learned how to cook. Um, I think we're going to have to head on over to the stove right now so we can get our corn cooking. So, uh, let's head on over there in just a sec. Oh, we're number four on guys. We're number four. Man, we're moving up. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Uh, what award are you going to? What award are you going to? So, I'm going to the YEA Awards, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, wait, you're going to Los Angeles. Yes. I, yes, I am going to Los Angeles. All right, so let's head on guys over there and we'll start sauteing our corn. And our onions. We're number three. We're number three. Say what well, now? Huh? All right. So I, I apologize if this will take me. He said, "Hey, we got the luck of the goals or whatever they the, the Irish. Irish. The luck of the Irish. Thank, thank you. I apologize if I insulted anyone. But we got the luck of the Irish with the birds. It hasn't been working. It takes like ten minutes, and I smell gas. And I turn it off because I don't want our house to explode. So, but, but we got lucky today. So that's all that counts." So I'm going to saute our corn and onion, so I'm going to start by putting some butter 
because I mean everyone likes butter on on their vegetables, whether you guys want to admit it or not. Deep down, you know you like them, so I'm gonna. Just, I'm not afraid because butter is actually good for you. So, so I'm start by just melting this down. We'll start with the onions and then we'll start playing because we're kind of mixing them to get nice flavors. We we'll separate them and then we'll be playing those off. So I'm gonna let this melt. And if you got any questions, you gotta keep them coming while we're we trending. Say what? That was so You know, it's only been like half an hour, man. Damn, it's it's a minute. Guys, oh, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's the five minutes or whatever. Oh. Yeah, but that that was awesome. Let's let's keep it coming, guys. Keep inviting all our followers. Those likes and the, let's get this going, guys. It's been awesome. Okay, with my says I, I like butter on butter. Oh wow. Like butter on butter. I uh, don't know where I like it. So, <laughs> well, I've never tried that before, but it looks pretty good. Our, our butter is starting to melt. We're gonna wait for it to get a little bit more hotter, and then we'll be throwing in our onions. All right. Now, typically, your pearl onions are just small onions that look exactly like that. But we cheated and no one would know. Mwah. So I'm gonna put these in. Just, just gonna sear these off it. on the one side so they get a little brown, just a tad, tad bit brown, and then we'll put our corn because this is gonna continue to saute once we add our corn and all that stuff. I don't know what's going on. Help! I can't hear beautiful face anymore. We're just zooming in on the pan. Oh, we're just going on. Yes, that's fun. That's fun. So like I said, we're just zooming in on the pan. These are something. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna season these with a little bit of salt and pepper. Wait, where is your mom? Wait, where's my mom? My mom is sadly out of town, so I miss you all, but that's alright. So just a little salt down. And I'm just gonna let this brown up. But we can head back on and get our pest ready. This is gonna take our time, but eventually we will come back. So let's head on back here, guys. All right, so we're by doing it our pesto. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of basil. Now, usually, I mean, this is enough to feed a whole army. I mean, we're probably about a billion times more, but you guys get the, the gist. So, you now the reason why I have more basil today is because typically the basil I have, but since the blender, I mean, once you chop up a bunch of herbs, it tends to get smaller. You blend them, and then it doesn't kind of blend right. But but if I use it inside my spine, it's not as smooth, so that's why I'm doing it here. So I'm just going to remove all the stems, get all the nice little leaves. And hey, Matthew wants to know, Matthew brought to you, um, what, so what's being made today? So what's being made today? Today I'm doing a seared rack of lamb with a basil pesto, sauteed corn, sorry, sorry sauteed corn, onion, and potato crisp. So I have my bunch of basil, give that a slice, and there we go. So I think we have to get on back here, because our onions are pretty much ready to go. So let on back there and just a uh, do, you, do you go to public school? Do you go to public school? I'm actually in school, so it's pretty cool. Right. Right. Are we hanging? Yep. Yeah, just um, a second. Do you like home like, school being homeschooled, and if so, why? Do you, do you like being homeschooled, and if so, why? I actually enjoy homeschooling. I mean, I'm all the time which is really important for me and it also allows me to do a lot of this stuff like and the reason I mean I've actually learned a lot in school like I, I've been taking a lot of different subjects which is pretty cool and I really enjoy it so I got it in my corn uh, what's your favorite dish? what's your favorite dish? that's a tough one because I have a lot of favorite dishes but probably uh, I don't know I'm debating now because there's beautiful brown you know, dish, there's also steak dish, so I, I'm not sure it's really easy now. Alright, so I'm just going to let this soak in a bit, add a little bit more, more butter. It tastes better with butter. There we go. Awesome. And now I'm just going to let this cook up till the corn starts to turn a little brown. And let it get nice and brown, and then we'll be so searing our, our lamb, and then at the end we'll do our potato crisp, and then like I said, one of the things I would do is, inside my earlier kind of broadcast, I was doing a challenge, someone actually asked me to do a flambe. So if you guys have any challenges, kind of let me know, I'd be more than happy to keep them up and your broadcast along with the guesting questions. So like I said, 
if it's reasonable and I can do it in and the next three minutes. minutes. Yeah. Yeah, if we have ingredients, so I'll let you know. Like I said, if it's a reasonable challenge and I can do it, that won't take over five minutes, I will do it. So it's an Oreo challenge, but we don't have Oreo. We don't have Oreos. I don't even know what the Oreo challenge is. I mean, I don't know why. I don't know. I've actually, but I know a lot of challenges, so that's one for me. You just got your face with Oreos, I don't think you would mind that. Yeah, no, I love Oreos, but we never get them, so. Alright, so let's sit on back here and we'll let our corn. I'll probably just come back and toss it with you guys see. So, but we're gonna head on back here. What's the smoothie challenge? I think the smoothie challenge is to take a bunch of gross ingredients and put it into the blender. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that's what that I know, right? Because now we only have two for 20. Oh, we were at like 60. 60? Why, Siri? Why did you film me? Oh my god. So, Someone said it's my first time watching you. I sacked up here. But I didn't know you watched past. But you're cool. I just became a fan. Thank you, awesome. uh, 99. Dot, uh, Charisma. Thank you, Charisma. That is awesome. Alright, so I put my roughly chopped basil in. Now, along with it, we'll have our pine nuts. Just about a few, and uh, if you guys don't have pine nuts, uh, you could also use sunflower seeds that tends to work well. You could, you could use cashews. Kind of experiment, I mean, because it's really good. All right, so next we'll add in some lemon juice. Put that right in. Oh, Luke just gave 400 likes. I believe 400 likes. 400 likes. Thank you so much, Luke. You're awesome. So I'm quickly give this a toss, and just continue to let that cook. Keep going back over there for like five seconds. I'm just gonna add the rest of my lemon juice in, nice and acidic. Put that aside. A little salt, pepper. All right, and just some a pinch of salt. Oh, Luke said he did the Oreo challenge, doing the Pringles challenge this weekend. We don't know what these challenges you know, are. I mean, I know a lot of challenges because I watch a lot of YouTube. Sorry, but but I I don't know, but. I don't know, so maybe I'm 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 gonna do a little bit of research and check that out. Okay. Yeah. Give that a little and you should also just sing again. Remember last time you oh, sang yeah. so nicely. We really so want you to hear it. Yeah. I don't right now. Because I think Luke gained like twenty five fans last time he he sang. So maybe you should do it again. So if you want to, let me know in the comments below, or you can always just get just guest broadcast me again. And Phil just gave me four hundred likes, and someone else. I'm sorry, I missed them. Four hundred likes. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so I'm gonna give this another toss. And can you say hi to uh, seventeen Ricky L? Hi, Se hi Brittany. Thank you so Ricky. much. Ricky. Sorry. Ricky. Ricky. Seven sounded like Ricky. Ricky. L. I apologize about that. Hi, Ricky. Sorry. Thank you so much. Because we have like the corn sizzling yet, I didn't really hear it properly. Sorry about that. Okay, a challenge. Cha no challenge. 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 Eat 10 in a minute. Eat 10 in a minute? Like an eating challenge? Yeah, I mean, you, I've heard of this one. This was, uh, I think Furious P did it. It's supposed to be really easy, but then no, like it drains all no, the saliva no. from your mouth. No, 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 because you, no, because you do it with no water, so your mouth gets all dry and it's. Ugh. Anything with eggs, I will not do. And anything with eggs, I choose. To. Okay, these are done. They're starting to get brown, so these have to die. Like I said, anything with eggs, I'm not doing. So I prefer to do a cooking challenge more so than an eating challenge. So like maybe like because like like I said last time, got a plumbe, maybe cut an onion or saute moon. Lots of boring things. That's like boring. We already see you do these things, that's why. That's you're already true. like ninja challenge right so now. Why don't so I we need to think of something really creative. I have an idea. Next time I will think of a challenge myself that would be really cool and I'll do it at the end of the broadcast. How about that? Okay, the Oreo so challenge. Um, Luke told us the Oreo challenge is a head to head challenge where you're blindfolded and guess the flavor to get a point. Person with the most points wins. And he says, yeah, I can sing again. Maybe we'll do it. Get it to 100 people, and maybe me and Zach will maybe, do the Oreo challenge. Maybe we could we make special. Yeah, maybe. But like I said, next we'll time I'll say, we'll, this Monday maybe we'll do a challenge with our special guest. I don't know. We're still working on the details. Yeah, let's figure that but I'll probably will do. I will come up with a really funny kind of cool challenge that I did. Well, actually, I did do a challenge on you on my YouTube channel, so if you guys can check that out. That'd be pretty. Uh, cool. Aren't you for Master Chef or something? So aren't DJ's. you sure? Aren't you for Master Chef or something? Yeah, I am. I was on MasterChef Junior Season 4. 
And uh, same yeah. with the Pringles challenge. Same with the Pringles challenge, okay. I don't know, we had different kind of flavors of Pringles. Yeah, they do. Oh, Pringles chips. Oh, chips. oh my god, I thought it was like, you're trending. Oh my god, yes, I'm trending. Alright, so since, since, since we're trending, I'm gonna start, so instead of blender, we have salt, pepper, lemon juice, pine nuts, and our basil. So now, I apologize for the noise, but we have to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna turn this on, and just pulse that a little bit. And now I'm just gonna start by drizzling in hot oil. Or it's just gonna like get stuck to the side. That is the most annoying thing about doing that, especially when you're trying to make a pesto. Then you gotta get your hand in and it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, uh, Nomi S says, oh my god, it's Zach from Master's Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god, I just realized something. It's Zach. <gasps> Say that. Say what now? Awesome, thank you. Th th thanks for tuning in, actually. It means so much. Alright, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil in just to kinda, cause I don't wanna keep doing that. There we go. Uh, oh, Kitchen Agents here. Say hi, Kitchen Emily. Agents, and thank you so much, Emily. Hi. And uh, when do you go, Shaft? When do you go to the YA Awards? When do you go to the YA Awards? I'm actually going this Saturday, so I'm I'm really looking forward to that. Extremely uh, excited. And someone says, uh, "What are What are you making? It It looks good. What are you making? It looks good. So I'm doing a seared rack of lamb with sauteed corn and pearl onions." With a basil pesto and potato crisp. One more. Will you do guest broadcast at the end? Will you guest? Yes. Will you do guest broadcast at the end? Of course. Yes. So I'm gonna turn my blender on now that we have oil in, and it's probably it's probably gonna need some more. So I'm gonna have my plunger with me. Let me just get that right. There. there we go. A little bit more oil, and then we'll turn this down high and let it blend. Okay. Apparently not. Because our blender is a pain in the butt. This is why I wish blenders were smaller. Well, they have a smaller Vitamax. We just well, that's true. It. Ours is an, ours is an older version. All right. I put so much oil in. Where to go? That's totally. Uh, okay. Allison Little asked, "Did you win the contest for MasterChef Junior?" Did you win the contest for MasterChef Junior? No, I got eliminated in the top four. Uh, who's the other person that's talking? Who's the other person that's talking? That's my sister. That's on the chat. She's going to be helping you guys through all that. So I'm going to turn this back on again and just blend this up. Dumb blender is being like a pain right now. Baby man, you know, baby man up, my friend, man up. And I put so much basil in, but look where it all went. Oh, Luke says he's warming up his voice. Thank warming you. up your voice, awesome. Keep it up, Luke. And our corn is actually done, like I said. So I'm putting a little bit more oil, sorry, oil, and then just blend that up again. And hopefully our blender will cooperate so we can get this done. All right, here we go. Turn this guy back on. So sorry about the noise, but we finally got it. So that is awesome. There we go. So I'm gonna hit hey, uh, Rock Eye with my just gave 400 likes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. That is awesome. All right. And sorry about the noise. And so, yeah, sorry about that. And uh, yeah. Emily asked, will the YA Awards be on TV? Will the YA Awards be on TV? Probably not, to be honest. I don't know. I don't and uh, how old are you? I'm 13 years of age. Alright, so we have our pesto. I'm gonna quickly show this to you guys once I get inside our bowl. And it's beautiful. Alright, so I'm gonna get the chill. Jamie C uh you 400 likes. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're awesome. And right. uh everyone, we have 37 people now. Thank you so much for watching. 37, yes, let's thank invite you more people. Yet. I was actually just gonna say that you read my mind. And let's talk about the challenge again. And let's try to get to 100. That's our goal. 100 yes. people, that'd be amazing. That'd be awesome, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, Rock out with my says you're trending right now. I'm trending right now? Really? That's so awesome. Thank you guys. All right, so look at this pistol. I'm trying to get it all out before I show you guys, but apparently my kitchen equipment is not cooperating with me today. So I'm just gonna uh, get my what are you uh, today I'm making a seared rack of lamb with a pesto, sorry, basil pesto with sauteed corn, pearl onions, and a potato crisp. Right, uh, Christian, our just invited 57 fans. Thank 57 you so much. 57 fans, thank you so much. And like I said, guys, if you have one fan, even invite him, because that would be awesome. Uh, someone said do the sibling tag. If we get to 100 viewers, we'll yeah. do the tag. So you guys gotta make sure you invite all invite your people. people. Yeah. Call right. your parents. Tell them to watch. <laughs> Call your teacher. Teacher! Yeah, call your friends. Alright, so I'm gonna get wipe down my hand and I'll show this really cool looking pesto to you guys. Alright. I'm joking everyone. I'll I'll Alright, take a look. See how nice and smooth that is? It's like not even chunky at all. Perfect pesto, my friends. Look at that. Alright, so I'm gonna grab my corn, put that in a bowl really, really quickly. Uh, Uncle Grandpa invited 36 fans. Thank you so much, you're awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna put that inside our bowl. I actually put it in a plate here. Aw, oh, it's so yummy. Look at that. Right. That's done. Put that here. Getting the rest of our measles pasta. You're that trending. You're trending! Yes, thank you so much. Alright, I'm gonna quickly grab a paper towel to wipe off my cutting board. And we are third in um guys. Third in guys? Really? We're, like we're moving up each broadcast. That is awesome. Alright, so now we have pretty much all our all our components done. Last thing, two things gears we less. First we're gonna do our lamb because that needs time to rest. Then near the end, we'll do our potato crisp labs, just so we don't get kind of soggy. So I'm gonna quickly go grab my lamb to show you this to you guys. So that is beautiful. Now this is actually a French cut rack of lamb, which means that it's not as big because typically it's a be, it'll be like a really big chop. But I cut it in, it was about this big, but then I cut it into the two portions I need. See how that's a lot smaller than your typical kind of rack of lamb? And I think it looks for a beautiful kind of presentation, more kind of tinier, which I think is cool. So I'm going to quickly grab a glove on and we'll be seasoning this up with salt and pepper. And then we'll be uh, cooking it in our pan, basting it in our butter, and finishing it inside the oven. It's going to be so delicious. So uh, quickly, before I feel just gave 100 likes. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Another 400. Thank you. And awesome. someone asked who eats it after. Who eats it after? Very good question. I. It kind of depends. Probably my, may, my sister really likes it. I but sometimes. Like yeah, see what she said. She likes the lamb, but sometimes... It kind of depends. Like with the venison, no one was too, no one was too kind of happy about it. But I, but I enjoy the venison, so I ate it. It kind of depends. All right. So I'm just gonna season this with our pepper now that we have our, sorry, oh, uh, season this with salt now that we have our uh, pepper on. Man, I'm just getting confusing today. That's all right. All right. You got any questions? Uh, Teresa. Uh L Lanciano, I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Uh, invited 160 fans to this broadcast. Thank you so much. That is awesome. All right, so we have our steak. Sorry, we're at 48 viewers, 49. Thank you guys. Does this watching. look like steak? Because I just said that now that we have our steak. Because this does not look like steak to me. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. But it is a lamb, a rack of lamb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my big pan and turn this on medium high heat. Just now back over there and to see if our stove will cooperate. Alright, so can we just head on over to the stove one sec? Um, Alright, one sec. We're grabbing the mic and all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, tell everyone to fan you so you can yeah. watch more awesome broadcasts like this. Yeah, if you guys can fan me, that will be so cool so you get notified and all that awesome stuff. And, and just say, we'll be usually be on Mondays and this yes. Monday is really special. That is true. Alright, so I'm going to see if our little, uh, What's it called? Our burner will cooperate. It's just been being a pain in the butt lately. So let's see if I can get this thing to turn on. Alright. Alex411 need 400 Come likes. On. Thank you. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna let that be. I'll use a different burner for now. We're gonna improvise my friends. And Jamie C, 400 likes. Thank you. Jamie C, thank you so much, Jamie. Alright, so that one will turn on. And it's being a good burner. Oh, no, that one's for the oil. Oh, there we go. 
Hopefully, one sec. There we go. Awesome. So we got this one turning on. I'm gonna switch that there. Easy. Thank you so much, Luke. You're awesome, man. All right. So I'm gonna turn this on medium high heat. Put in our oil, and then I'm gonna quickly show you guys one thing off the lamp. Oh, rock out with you. Just keep more new lights. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome. All right. So typically, any rack of lamb, you have all of the nice bits fat at the back. Or usually whenever you have something that has a lot of fat like that, you want to start off by rendering the fat, which means, because no one likes, I mean, you don't want to be chewing on it, and now, the, the reason why we're, we're rendering it first, is so if, like I said, it's not chewy, then it's nice and crispy, and it'll taste really good, and you actually won't even notice. So I'm going to let this heat up really quickly, and we'll start on the fat side down, always, especially when you're cooking lamb, you start on the fat side down, like if you're cooking duck, you start on the fat side down as well. So I'm going to let this heat up, and then after we're going to cook our lamb over our potatoes, potato crisp, we'll be plating up our delicious dish. And like I said, you guys, I'll be guessing at the end. And if you have any challenges that are reasonable, please let me know, because oh, I would love uh, to do Sorry. Um, some people are wondering, did you try for match at the Chop Jr., and you should? Did you try it for Chop Jr., and you should? Well, I actually sent an application to Chop Jr., but I haven't heard anything back yet, so... Fingers crossed. Oh, Rock I Wouldn't Mind just said you deserve it for the likes. Uh, it keeps you trendy and gets viewers. Well, it means so much to, yeah, it to does. us. It, it really, really does. does. You don't, like, you don't, like, I always say thank you guys so much, but you really don't know how much it means to me because you guys are awesome. So our pan is hot. I'm going to put the lamb down. Ooh, that side down. Time. We're at 50 viewers. 50 that. viewers. Yes, we're at 50. And we'll have a special broadcast. Yes, another 50. Yes, so make sure you guys invite your followers. So our pan is hot, and we're just going to push down our lamb chop, like I said, on skin side down. And just let that kind of cook for a second until it starts to get really kind of golden brown. There we go. And then after it's nice and clear on all sides, we'll be basting it with our butter and thyme. Now you could use our rosemary and garlic. I'm just using butter and thyme to keep it kind of simple. All right. Uh, Booker's mic has invited 1,012 fans to the broadcast. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Zia, are you proud of your brother? Yes, I'm very proud. No. Um. I was like, aww. Alright, so that's starting to render out a bit. It's still kind of whitish on there, so I'm going to really push it down there. Just so we start to render out more, we get a nice kind of brownish color rather than, because no one wants that white color. Or the, the chewy flavor. There we go. Continue to cook that up. I actually got a really nice pair of tongs that my mom got me. That was cool. There we go. Almost done. Let's take a look. Could use a little bit more. Like I said, see, I don't know if you guys, I'm gonna, can you see that? Yeah. See how the top part there is still kind of opaque? I mean, it's a light brown, but we want to cook that out just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, uh, you make me so hungry every time I watch you cook. You make me so hungry every time I watch you cook. Well, I, I, I try to. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So now we're going to sear this on the next side. And our pan starts to smoke a little bit, so I'm going to turn that all the way down. And let that... Oh, look at all this nice bubbles. Look at that. Two of the things, like, oh, so many lights. Oh, what? Like, four oh, hundred, right? like, three times. Whoa! You're joking. Who people in? Phil. Phil, big shout out to you, man. So Thank you. That's awesome. All right. So, whoa, we got so many bubbles today. Look at that. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, um there Matt, sorry. I missed the question for Max D. Yeah. Sorry. Um, uh, who is your best friend on Max Jr.? Who is your best friend on Max Jr.? Well, I was friends with much already there, but my bestest friends were Corey, Sam, uh, Cade, JJ. And yeah, but the lights, everyone there was awesome. Alright, so look at that nice crust on the lamb, man. Beautiful, nice and golden brown. For some reason, we're getting all that like bubbly stuff. I've never seen that in lamb before, which is pretty cool. Alright, so I think I'm gonna put it on the back side down to render that out. We just let this cook. I'm gonna turn our heat back up. And there we go. Just continue to cook this. So it has, now the reason why we're steering it off is to seal in all the flavor. Because you obviously don't want like one part to be sealed and the other one to be kind of like raw. It's just, like boiling kind of meat. So that's why we're searing it off. There we go. Uh, 
What state are you from? What state are you from? I live in Orlando, Florida. Alright, so now we steered on all sides of me. You know what? I'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, oh, Brian, uh, Selena, I'm, I know you die, I know it. Everyone says, everyone likes it up and share it. Yes. yes. Listen, Tim, everyone likes this up and share it because that would be really cool. So I turned my heat down all the way, and now what I'm going to do is grab my butter and we'll start basting this. So I'm putting a spoonful of butter in it. And it goes just like that. Oh, uh, Geek Me said, I have to eat lunch, gotta go, you made my day. Have to eat lunch, gotta go, you made my day. Thank you so much. Well, uh, hope your lunch is good. Thank you, hi to 17 Ricky L. Hi, 17 Ricky, thank you so much for tuning in. Alright, uh, it's Geek Me Diana, I got you 52 fans. 52 fans, that is awesome, thank you. Alright, look at all that, man. We're getting like, all this nice foamy stuff today. That is so cool. So you're just going to continue to baste it with your butter. It's better to put the, the springs of thyme or rosemary or herb on top of it because then you tend to get that really nice flavor even more. There we go. And now we're just going to keep doing this till the butter starts to turn like a really kind of fucking brown color because no one wants that flavor in there. Uh, what's your fashion style, Zach? What's your fashion style? I'm not joking. It's a question. I'm the messenger. Fashion style, that's a good question. I don't really know, I guess just casual jeans, I guess. I'm not the, ca I don't, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fans of suits and stuff. If you, if you knew, if you asked my parents, they'll probably say I like to wear a nice pair of jeans or something, so. Uh, were you jeans sad when Sam left in episode 9? Were you sad that Sam left in episode 9? Yes, I was, because it was either between me and him, so it was just, it was sad, but at the same time, it was a competition, so. Alright, so look at that. That is like, zoom in on this, because this is delicious. So take a look. Uh, someone said, did you have a crush on any girl on NASA Jr.? And who was it? I think it was Caitlin or Avery or even Addison. Um. <laughs> a silence. I didn't, we were all just friends there, like, no, so. No, no crutches around. Hashtag awkward moment of silence. But I will. Alright, so now we have our steak on. Put that inside my pipe. Oh god. So Alex said, like, he's gonna go after a 10 year old. <laughs> Why would I even date someone first? I'm like, first, I don't know if you want to. Alright, so I have my uh, steak inside. Sorry. Why do I keep calling it a steak? It's a rack of lamb. Is this a steak? No, it's not. So I put this inside my pirate, my rack of lamb inside my pirates, a glass oven proof container thingy and put it inside the oven at 400 degrees for about five minutes. If it needs more, I'll stick it in longer, but it's kind of small, so we won't need too long. I can smell it. I'm getting hungry. I can smell dinner. it. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Smells good. To a uh, 17 Ricky L. Zach, you didn't even say hi to me. What happened? You did. You didn't say hi to me. I thought I did. I think uh, her screen yeah. was blacked out. Yeah, the screen was the blacked out. I'm so, I was sorry about that. Well, hi. Hi, hi, Ricky. Thanks so much for tuning in. I, I thought I just said that, right? Yeah, you did. That's all right. No worries. I'm, I'm more than happy. I mean, just the fact that you guys are tuning in means a lot to me. So thank you so much. So we have our lime in, but while that's happening, I'm mean, gonna, we have our oil that's leaking. So oh, Rick just gave 400, oh, sorry, Margaret, what the hell? Phil! Thank you, 400 Phil. likes. Thank Mike, you, Phil. Jamie C gave Whoa. 400 likes. Phil gave again 400 likes. Whoa! You're joking. I love it when people joke, but that, but that probably wasn't a joke, but thank you guys so much, because that's awesome. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, grab a little bit of paper towel. I apologize for getting out of the shop for a sec, but I forget a lot of things, because there's a lot going on with these little Fancy broadcast. So I'm gonna put milk room, put this right over here for our potatoes and grab myself uh, a thing to put the pirates on. Are you excited for your nomination? Are you excited for your nomination? I am excited. And I could not believe that I even got nominated, which is pretty darn cool. So I'm actually just gonna quickly grab a little spoon for our oil, so if you'll excuse me for one sec, I apologize guys. All right, 
right, so I'm back very quickly. Uh, Jamie, see just before her, like, thank you so much, Jamie, you're awesome. We're at right, well, we're we're right. 32,000 likes. 32,000? You guys are awesome, especially oh. Jamie, Collins, and Phil. Thank you, guys you are guys amazing. Are awesome. I mean, everyone that's been liking is awesome, so thank you. So I turned my oil that's been simmering on, it's pretty hot now. So we have our human sliced potato crisps. So I'm just gonna kind of cook these up. And our oil is not hot enough. See if it just like sinks like that. I purposely, oh, okay. I take that back, it's starting to, starting to heat up. All right, so I'm gonna put the next kind of pieces of potatoes right in there. And then we'll put in the last one. And you probably one or two more. Uh, uh, one second. Sorry. Yep. There we go. Last one's in. And that should be good. No, it's just Can you say hi to Ricky one more time? Hi Ricky, thank you so much for tuning in. You're awesome. Alright, so these are starting to get really crispy. I'm going to grab my spoon and just toss these around every once in a while. Keep an eye on them because you want them to burn on to get nice and golden brown. And we'll season them with salt and usually. And if you notice something, whenever a chef or someone is frying, they always tend to season the food when, when, it, when it comes out of the fire right away. Because what happens is it still has a little bit of oil and it sticks to it, especially when it's hot. So that's why everyone always does it right away. Uh, Uncle Grandpa says, I'm following you on all your social media. I'm feeling I'm cyber stalking you. Awkward, lol. Well, thank it's you. It's not awkward at all, man. Thank you so much. I mean, just the follows are awesome. So you're not cyber stalking me. Don't worry. Uh, can you don't say hey, Samantha? Hi, Samantha. Thank you so much for joining. You're awesome. Uh, do you still talk to anyone from MasterChef? Do you still talk to anyone from MasterChef? Yes. Caitlin's actually going to be in Orlando this week. So once I come back from LA, I'm definitely going to kind of meet up with her. Uh, so, so it'll be really cool. Alright, so you want to zoom in on these guys to see this? Well, I'm on social media. We like those pics. Yeah. No. See how these are starting to get kind of brown around the sides? So we're just going to let these continue to kind of heat up. Till um, they get really nice and brown, like that one's starting to get browner. Let me see if I can get that there. But it's it it's it's going, so don't worry. There we go. Let them do this thing, and like I said, if you guys could check out my YouTube channel, that would be awesome. It's that car and all the social media, and don't worry, you, you won't be cyber stalking me. Hello. Um, it's uh, Zach underscore car, the ZAC underscore KKRA. So I'd appreciate the follow and the subscription to my YouTube channel would be awesome. Uh, uh, Luke Hutch Music says he can cook. He can cook. Yes, I can. And Crawford mm -hmm. C says Zach's 20, 2016, Zach for president. Zach for president. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, funny. Funny. that's really funny. That's funny. Uh, when did you start cooking? When did you start cooking? Um, I started cooking about two years ago. Alright, so let's quickly Wait, everyone, let's invite yeah. your fans to, to watch that broadcast. Alright, so I'm going to quickly take a peek at the lamb and if it's done, I'm going to take this guy out of the oven. But at the same time, I don't want my oven to burn. So that should use about another minute. Um, you know what, actually, I think it's done. Alright, we're going to take a chance to burn this because it's done. So that's going to go back here. Now i got to work quickly, make sure these guys are good. Alright. So one of them is done here. That was actually the, the quite smaller one. Let's see if I can grab that and show it to you guys. There we go. Perfect potato crisp. Beautiful. All right, so these ones are pretty much kind of crispy, but they, but they need to cook up a little more. He's good. He's good. Colin just gave a bunch of life. Thank you so much. Life. Thank you so much, man. All right, so a little salt on that one. Let those cook up until they're almost done, and then... Our lamb is going to be resting, and then we'll be slicing that right the last second. And the plating will probably take a good minute or two, because it is really awesome. All right, so I think these are about done. Set these aside individually. I don't want to touch them, because they're really hot. There we uh, go. Then, uh, River invited 92 fans to this broadcast. 92 fans, that is awesome. Thank you. Like I said, every little follower or fan counts because it means so much to me. So once again, thank you. And if you can invite, like I said, invite all your guys' fans because that would be awesome. All right, let's head off over there. I'm going to grab my lamb and we can actually almost get ready to start playing. And fan Zach, so you can watch awesome broadcasts like this. That is true. That is extremely true. All right. So while that's happening, we're going to be getting my pesto inside our little squeeze bottle. So let me see which one's bigger. Um, I brought both just to be on the safe side, right? Yeah. 
This one would be a little bit better to work with. Um, you know what? I'm, you know I'm going to go for the squeeze ball. I'm going to go for the squeeze ball. Uh, someone picture. asked, how old is he? How old is he? I am 13 years old. Our teeth are pretty darn looking good, Pesto. Uh, Crawford T says, so talented. So talented. Thank you so much. All right, so I actually couldn't find a funnel, but that's typically what you would do for a squeeze ball. So I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. And I'm actually doing a pretty good job because usually it would go all over the place. Get that inside my squeeze ball because you're going to make me like these really Zach, you're trending dolls. again. I'm yeah. trending again. That yeah. is so cool. That is awesome. All right, so I'm going to try to hurry this up because this is really boring. <laughs> like I said, I'll be doing some challenges at the end. So if you guys, yeah, I, yeah, I will be doing challenges. If you guys let me know or request them that I can do currently. And if I have it, I will do it. And if it's reasonable, like I said, I will get to the death. Uh, do you like cheesecake and do you like jalapenos? Do you two like cheesecake people. and do you like jalapenos? That was two different questions. Though. Yes. Do you like cheesecake? Yes, I do. It kind of depends. I don't like really sour cheesecake. It's a little sweeter than I do. And jalapenos, I hate spicy food, I'll be honest. I enjoy the flavors that my palate is a baby when it comes to, to spicy things. So, no, I don't baby. like jalapenos. No. Nicer palace than you do. Yeah. More resilient no, palace. No, it's not that. My palate is gentle. It's a delicate, a sensitive palate. So, yeah. It can't handle the spice. No, it can't. It's, it can handle. It's more sensitive, okay? It's more <laughs> sensitive. Uh, can you give a thumbs up for Rebecca? Thumbs up to Rebecca. Thank you so much. Give her a thumbs up. Thumbs like, up. I did. Alright, so I grab my lamb. Oh, uh, you're fourth in guys. I'm fourth in guys? Awesome. Alright, so we have our lamb that's pretty darn good cooked. Beautiful here. Still slightly hot. So you know what? We should wait. Let that rest up a bit more inside right here. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Because we're going to be waiting on that lamb to slice it. Because if I don't, because if I use slice it immediately, it's going to run all over the plate. And it'll be a disaster. So we, so we have to wait on that. But in the meantime, I'll grab a plate that we're going to be plating that on. And uh, Luke says he loves lamb. Luke says he loves lamb. That is awesome. I actually really like it too. I didn't, because I think the first time I had lamb was about a year ago, and I loved it. So that's really cool. Um, does Luke want to sing for us now? If you want, we can do that while we're waiting for a lamb, because I was... Can it be awesome? So, Luke, if you want to sing for us now, that would be really cool. So, just uh, let us know inside the first guest broadcasting. Yeah. Um. Uh, do you live in the United States? If so, what state? If do you live inside the U.S., if so, what state? I live in Florida, Orlando. So. And yeah. And uh, Luke says, do you want a guest broadcast? Do you want a guest for us? Yeah, sure. Because we're waiting on this lamb, and it'll be about another few minutes. Yeah. So, at least we can hear you sing, which is really awesome. Last time. Uh, All someone right. said, "Did Mary give you that lamb?" Did all. Mary give you that lamb? Uh, yeah. I got a from from what's your name, Mary. That was even more cheesier. That was an even more horrible joke. Well, while we're waiting, Zach, why don't you tell everyone to fan you? Yes, fan me. Yeah, if you guys could fan me on me now, that would be awesome. Like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be like so cool. Oh my god. I should think this looks like a heart. And it's all and it's like puffed up. Oh my god. Look how Poofy that is. That's funny. Uh, Max P says, was it hard to be in the bottom with Sam in episode 9? Was it hard to be in the bottom with Sam in episode 9? I mean, no one wants to be inside the bottom. I mean, obviously, but... I mean, like I said, I, it's not pleasant to be inside the bottom. But like I said, Luke, if you're ready to, to sing for us, that'll be awesome. I think I'll he wait. is. Yeah. Just, just let me know with the guest podcast. Take your time. I don't see. Yep. No. No, I think he's doing it right now. Yep, no worries, Luke. Um, Take your time. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. All right, awesome. all right, let's do it. He's not over there. Yeah. Okay, he's there. All right, so I'm gonna quickly kind of one sec. My brother's trying to figure out how he wants to uh, transport this to me. Uh, one sec. Guys. Wrong button. Sorry, guys. Wrong Someone button. asked, "What's your favorite theme park?" What's your favorite theme park? Um. I, I don't know. I haven't been to many, too many theme parks. But obviously, Disney and Universal here is awesome. So, hey, Zach. Well, it looks like you're guessing right now. I'm guessing. Either way, you just don't see his face. 
All right. Which is actually better, so we don't have to yeah. keep moving you back and forth. All right. So can you see me right now? Because I'm kind of yeah. All right. So I can't really. Luke, so, we can't see you, but everyone else can see you. Uh, all right. Do you want me right, to like? So uh, Luke, awesome. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Is Luke on the guest podcast? Yeah, he's there. All okay. right. Do you want me to still sing? Ah, Luke, how are you? I, oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, one sing, second. sing. Okay. Oh, yes, please sing. Sorry, one second. I'm having an issue with the mic. Okay, I'm just gonna sing this snippet of the song that's coming yeah. out sooner called awesome. "Just a Friend to You." Sure. It goes like this. When you say I'm just a friend to you, cause friends don't do the things we do. Everybody knows you love me too. I'm trying to be careful with the words I use. I say it cause I'm dying to. I'm so much more than just a friend to you. That was so good, Luke. That was so good. Thank you. Awesome, man. That is so cool. That's sick. Thank that was you. awesome. Thank you. You should audition, for the, you should audition for, the yeah, for the voice, Luke. Yeah, the voice. Yeah. The voice. I don't know about the voice, but I'll think about something to try out for. Why don't you? Why, why don't you? Come on. I'll well, think I about think it. Pretty I cool. Mean, I, like Someone I used to said, do like oh chorus goodness, in I'll high school I'll call into the voice stuff. for you. Oh my goodness, I'll call into the voice for you. Yeah, please do that, but first get, but first get his approval. Yo, like I said, I think the age limit is like 14 or something. I don't know. Yeah, you I probably can. I've seen a 14-year-old. You just saw a 15-year-old. Yeah, 14. Who got, who got a tier, four-tier turn or something like four that. Four-tier turn, yeah, so I've I'm watched that for now. Yeah, so why don't you come audition? That would be really cool. That Maybe. Yeah, well, yeah, why don't you give it a go? I think auditions are coming up soon. I don't, I don't know, but... We don't know, because they're airing the show. Yeah, so that was really awesome. Well, thank you once again. Thank you. Because like I said last time, um, maybe you can sing again next broadcast. Maybe. If yeah, you know, I could do that. Cool. That would be awesome, because like, like I said, I mentioned this last time, but a lot of people would be scared, but you went out there and did it, so that's awesome. Yep, I just like I just like to be brave at times. That's awesome, Luke. You did such a good job. That's Thank so you. Cool. People are like fanning me right now. People are fanning you, yeah, fan Luke. I think, That's awesome. Fanning you know, I think last awesome. time you gained like twenty five fans or something. Yeah, I know. Like last week, I got like twenty five fans. People kept saying like I became a fan. <laughs> but that's so that's so fun and cool. Yes, like I said, if you want to sing the next broadcast, I'll leave a comment down below, and my sister will, will let you know. Maybe we can do it again. Okay. Um, how's everything going with you? School and everything? I'm how's cooking and good. everything? I've been busy, but like I said, I'm going to LA next Saturday, so things are busy, but I'm good. So, yeah, my sister, my mom, and my dad are going to go see the Divergent movie tomorrow. That's cool. Yeah, or Allegiant? Is it Allegiant. Allegiant. Oh, oh my, my god. god, get the name right. She, she's that gonna hell? kill me for, for now she protect me because she's gonna kill me for saying that because she absolutely loves them. So <laughs> I don't know, just because that you guys might not see me next time. <laughs> Alright. Alright, uh, thank you. Said, OMG, I love that series. OMG, I love it's that series. awesome. Yeah, and like I said, next Monday we're gonna be doing the mystery kind of guest broadcast. I'm sorry, the mix mystery broadcast on you now and uh like i said maybe we can do yeah you know one of the things like we could probably do some guesting together i, I think that'll be really cool too so i'm looking yeah. forward to that it's a very very special guest and she's probably watching right now i think so right i think so. yeah I'm not sure so, so only he knows only he knows <laughs> you know who i'm talking to <laughs> All right, well thank you once again Loki. you've been awesome and now Anytime. we're going this up yeah and i'll do like if you guys have any cooking challenges or something, let me know, and I'll be playing this up, doing a few more guest broadcasting, and we'll, we'll take it from there. So once again, thank you, Luke. Thank you. That dish looks delicious, by the way. Thank you. All right, bye. Bye. My, oh, there we go. Uh, someone said, um, I might have missed it, but what are you doing out in L.A.? I might have missed it, but what are you doing out in L.A.? I've actually got nominated for the YEA Awards, and then... Or this broadcast. Yeah, actually, for actually crazy. this broadcast show. And now also going to be doing a special, uh, I'll be on a YouTube channel. And then while that's recording, we'll also be doing, we'll also be uh, filming it live to you now, which is really cool. And someone says, is it Gordon Ramsay? Is it Gordon Ramsay? No. Yes. No.
Alright, so we're gonna quickly slice into uh, a lamb. And I'm trying to make some rolls. Did you see the movie Zootopia? Did you see the movie Zootopia? I'm doing the sloth in the background. Remember the sloth scene? No, I haven't seen it yet. Ha! Ha! That was a horrible impression. I gotta work on that. You guys will know if you saw the trailer. We saw the trailer, but we haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen the trailer. But FYI, that was, if anyone that saw the movie, that they'd probably say that has a horrible impression. So now that our lamb is rested, I'm going to cut this in half. Let's hope it's cooked. Uh, Ricky <laughs> says it's good. I That movie, I saw it. I loved it. Ricky said it's good, and the impression was good. That's the way I like my lamb. Nice, medium, well, perfect. All right, so we're going to plate this bad boy up right now. I'll quickly, wipe that off. Wipe my hands off because I don't want it to be too dirty. And we'll flip this cutting board on a cleaner side like that. Are you in seventh grade, Zach? Are you in seventh grade, Zach? Yes, I am. All right, so we're gonna start off by no, sorry, no eighth grade. Sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> eighth grade. What sorry. the hell, Zach? What the heck? I'm not in seventh grade. I'm turning fourteen. Uh, next May. Luke says, "Hey, Zach, I made risotto with the leftovers. Do you think I should make arancini?" Hey Zach, I made risotto. And you're tending, yay! Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, well, like I said on the show and some of the tag team challenge with the RNG, it was actually really easy, but it was so delicious. So now orange balls when you take risotto and then you fill it with a little bit of oh, like sliced cheese, you bread it with breadcrumbs, and then you fry it and it's so delicious. So yes, I would definitely I don't want to take that, a picture so. and post it. Yeah, that would be cool. Alright, so I'm gonna put the next piece of lamb there. I'm trying to remember this. Uh, are you the youngest child? Are you the youngest child? Yes, I am. I'm the youngest in my family. I have an older brother and then an older sister. Uh, can you get broadcast me? Yes, we'll can do guest guest broadcasting. Yes, we'll be doing that right at the end. All right, so I have my corn and my onions, and I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, have you seen the movie Ratatouille? Have you seen the movie Ratatouille? Yes. I think I saw that when I was like seven. Sorry. That was like years ago. Who knows? Maybe inside my spiky hair, I have a rat that's controlling me. Never know. Uh-huh. Uh, when's your birthday, Zach? When's your birthday, Zach? It's actually... So hey, ooh, hey, Zia, you know, what grade are you in? Hey, Zia, what grade? She's becoming a celeb, man. I'm a damn celeb. Yeah, she's a you now celeb. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to continue to plate this up. So Someone play. asked, do you know how to cook? Do you know how to cook? Yes. Really? Zia, do you know cook? I, I, I don't know, Zach. Maybe, maybe you do. I think the rat in your hair was controlling you. Whoa. Like, rat For some reason, something just kind of, like, scratched me, and I felt like, oh, going down my back. But all of a sudden, I don't remember anything about how I know how to cook. I guess it was just that dumb rat that was controlling me. That was a horrible joke again. My jokes oh, are so joke, cheesy. They're like the cheesy jokes, but I'm like laughing in my head because they're just so bad. But I think it's funny. I can smell that stinky, cheesy joke from here, man. Well, thanks for making me feel any better. (laughs) All right, so I'm going to put another onion right there and put one. Someone says I love your cheesy jokes. I love your cheesy jokes. Thank Thank you. you. Who was that? Who was that? Because I want to give them a big shout out. Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa, thank you because you are the man. Yes, thank you. Finally, someone that appreciates my cheesy joke, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, have you been to Disney World? Have you seen the movie Chef? Have you been to Disney World? Have you seen the movie Chef? I don't think so. I saw 100 for Journey, which I thought was really good, and I have been to Disney World. Can I say it, Zach? Say it. Sprinkle it. Yeah, you know what? I thought you funny. Don't keep it. Because, like, the really Michelin star place was, was like, oh, you have to sprinkle it, and with the other people, like, you have to spoon the spice it. So I sprinkle it. See? You always notice I sprinkle it. Maybe I have to start spooning it. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to put my potato crisp down next. I'll put one in the back here. Now, my plate is kind of cramped. Oh, have you been to Disney World? Yeah. Have you been to Disney World? Yes. I mean, this is probably the coolest potato in the world. Like I said, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like poofed up. And it looks exactly like a heart. Will you marry me, Zach? Will you marry me, Zach? I don't even know what you're hearing emojis. With what? With ring emojis, online engagement rings. 
Say what now? <laughs> and someone else said, you're so hot. <laughs> does not receive any more marriage proposals currently. That was a really bad little impression. Ugh, I gotta work on my impressions. I used to be so good oh, at Someone impression. says you have the best cheesy jokes. You're even better than my friend's jokes. Thank you. Once again, I told you people like my, my cheesy jokes. I'm not the only one that, that likes them. But the thing is, I know that they're horrible, but that just makes me laugh. Like, if you notice, I won't be laughing, but it just makes me laugh because that's how bad they are. Someone says hi, you're really funny. Hi, you're really funny. I didn't really be funny. Oh, thank you. Keep thank watching. You. Maybe you'll be more funniness. Maybe. You know, like, because we're like, at 49 viewers at. 49 I viewers that is you know. awesome. And right now I'm taking corn and putting it on a plate with hand. <laughs> uh, someone said I just came in. What are you making? I'm well, just done making, making, actually. We're actually done making. So what I've made is a seared rack of lamb with, oh my god, hold on one sec, with a Basil, pesto, sauté corn, onion, also a uh, potato crisp. Oh, so someone said, add a little bit of cheese on that, not on this one. A little bit of cheese on that, not on that. We're not going to lamb, onion, and corn, and cheese. We're going to go two well together. All right, so I'm going to give my pesto a little shake, and hopefully it doesn't, like, get clogged up. Because other times, like, it tends to be a little chunky, and it gets clogged up to the squeeze bottle. But if that does happen, we'll see improvise, but hopefully not. So let's start on by carefully. Putting down our pesto. Oh, it's looking good this time. Oh. Uh, someone says, I like how your hair looks. I like how your hair looks. I like how my hair looks, too. We're trending again. Say Yay. what? We're Perfect time to trend, man. Look at this dish. Just as the final plating. Just as perfect. perfect. And just in time for, for uh, broadcasting. Yes. That and is a question for me. Zia, do you love your brother and like that he is famous? I love him, and I would love him whether he's famous or not famous. Aww. Aww. If my Hashtag mom had a Hashtag love. Hashtag brotherly love. Or sisterly. Whatever. Sibling love. Sibling, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what grade are you in? What grade are you in? I am in eighth grade. All right, so one of the things. You know, I'll just use my thermal there. I'll be like, there we go. Uh, so I would love to have a shirt like you're wearing now. I think with the logo and everything. With the logo and everything. Yeah. I've actually gotten a few requests for merchandise. We might consider it. Yes. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I will in the future. And maybe I will. Uh, someone says, yay, can you hug him for the viewers? Yay, can you hug him for the viewers? Well, I uh, haven't showered. I just came back from tennis true. practice. Because it's really tight because she just came back from like, tennis practice and all that stuff. So, and he just showered, so no. I just showered. Nice and clean. Um, someone said I was trying to be corny and add cheese to his cheesy jokes. LOL, we have the corn in here already. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> well, that's awesome. See, I, I knew that people would like my cheesy jokes. Even though they're horrible, it makes me laugh. So I'm going to quickly grab my little garnish. And uh, these are like, I have, I'm in love right now with these little garnishes. They're called pea shoots and micro greens. And these just look absolutely amazing. And gives like that really kind of nice feel to the whole dish. So I'm just going to put a few. Oh, that's a bad one. I'm, I'm like cherry picking right now oh. my pea shoots. Oh, oh wow. where are you from and what kind of food is that? Where are you from and what kind of food is that? Um, I'm from Orlando, Florida, and this is a lamb dish. There we go. I'm thinking about where I should put this one right there. Put a little color and then... We're pretty much done. I like send a hundred likes of the Irish. Thank you. Oh, a hundred likes. Thank you so much. All right. So we're in the bottle. Someone says, I want you to be my bae, and I'm in seventh, eighth grade, too. Um, Zach, do you love us viewers? Do you love us viewers? Of course. Of course does. I do. You guys are awesome. Like, just tuning in is so cool. I mean, you guys even like my cheesy jokes, which is a rare occasion for me. So thank you so much. Alright, we're done, guys. We finished up our dish. Look at that! 
All right, so you want to quickly zoom in on this, and then I'll clear out my station a little bit. This way it's a little easier for everyone to see. So like I said, it's a seared rack of lamb with uh, some sausage corn, pearl onions, keto crisps, and garnish with our pea shoes. Someone said to eat it. Someone said to eat it. I actually can't eat it right now just because you get to take a picture of it for social media. Usually I wouldn't eat it. That's my dinner, man. And oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So like I said, if you guys want to do some questions now, uh, before we do questions, I want you guys to take one minute, a uh, minute, well not to be like that strict, but if you guys have any challenges before, I, I clearly Yeah, we have good questions. So. Yeah. Oh, you guys, so one of the from, I think, Liam, and also, Luke just gave you 400 likes. 400 likes? Thank you, Luke. Yeah, so like I said, if you, I'll be answering a few questions now, but while you're thinking about your questions or something, just think of a reasonable challenge. Yeah. Or maybe uh, I'll so Olivia asks, what is the girl's name? I, my name is Zia. What is the girl's name? My sister's name is Zia. Uh, looks beautiful. I like that you added some green to the dish. Yeah, it looks really nice. I mean, the pesto just really kind of brings it out. And for St. Patrick's Day, which I thought was cool, so. Uh, Kinsey... I, I don't know how to say that. It says, I love you, but I have to go. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you can join me again on Monday. Like it's arriving with a special guest, which is going to be pretty cool. Are you, uh, where, are you excited for the most for the massive cruise? What are you excited most for the massive cruise? Well, I've never been on a cruise, so I really want to go scuba diving and take some beautiful kind of pictures. But... I'm still deciding or not, and you guys are probably thinking I'm a wimp, and chances are it'll be one out of a million that you find a shark there, but I'm deeply afraid of sea life. <laughs> so. Oh, and also to know what the, who the special guest is, you might announce it, you might not. Follow the social media. Follow Zach on social media. We'll have it there posted in the next few days for sure. Definitely, yeah. We're still kind of figuring out all the details and all that stuff. Yeah, and the social media is all in his yeah, profile. Yeah, we'll tell him my bio. And, and we are trying to get Zach on the Ellen show, okay? So, I'm going to write the tag in. Hashtag Zach for Ellen. Tweet it, Instagram it, Facebook it, do all that stuff. And like I said, if I just posted it. Show. Hashtag Zach for yes. Ellen. Let's get him on the Ellen show. Share it with your friends. Spread the word, guys. Hopefully, we can get me on that show because that would be so It'd cool. be amazing. And uh, what's your favorite fish? I love halibut and tilapia. What's your favorite fish? And for like a bread halibut. fish, I love cod halibut. or halibut. But for like a regular seared fish, it'd be like a sea bass or salmon. Uh, how often do you broadcast? How often do you broadcast? I broadcast once every week. Someone said, ooh, that would be fun. Hashtag Ellen. Hashtag Ellen, yes. Yeah. Hashtag Zach Cal for Ellen. We wrote, like, I wrote the hashtag. Yeah, maybe we can have like a cook-off or something. That would be yeah, so cool. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Uh, someone said really <laughs> good on Ellen. Uh, can you make a cauliflower crust pizza? Can you make a cauliflower crust pizza? I've heard of it. We can, yeah. We might one time. Yeah. Know, we can do vegetarian dish. Maybe. I don't maybe know. Yeah, I've actually been wanting to do a vegetarian dish, so maybe I'll do that until the future. Any any so requests for any dishes you want to make? Yeah. We're doing this for you guys. Yeah. Post so what please, you want to do. Let me know. Uh, please, like, if you just kind of let me know, you can Instagram me or just leave a comment. Uh, what's more awesome, us or cooking? So What's crazy. more awesome, us or cooking? You guys, you guys are awesome to me. I mean, just like I said, tuning in, you are so awesome. So I would not be able to do this without you. Uh, who is the person behind the camera? Who is the person behind the camera? That is my sister. She's helping me out. She's kind of, because I can't really see what you guys are writing. And if she wasn't there, all the questions would go by and I wouldn't be able to answer them and, and kind of do all that stuff. So, uh, Crybaby says you should make ice cream. Crybaby says you should make ice cream. You made sorbet. I made sorbet, yeah, but I don't have an ice cream maker attached to my parents, so. It'd be hard to make. That's without, still, without that would take like two hours, unless you guys want to see here for about two hours. But it's a lot, I, it's of, work. A lot of work. Yeah, it is. And someone else said hashtag Zach for dancing with the stars. <laughs> well, Zach, you better up your fitness. No, no. Oh, with no, liquid no, nitrogen. No. We have to find the connection. I don't know. Like I don't know where. I don't know where to find. But F Y I B T W. I cannot dance for crap. <laughs> and I don't. I don't like it. I cannot yeah. dance. I cannot dance. I, the, the show is like it's really tough to set up. It's a lot of work. I assume it'd be really tough yeah. for us to set up. We'd have to get so much equipment. Probably empty out our whole freezer. 
just to show the different stages of ice cream. Yeah. That would be really hard. That would be extremely hard. Yeah. We, we, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Like, if you see all the prep we have, yeah. be too we much. do it all for you guys. So just yeah. let us know what you want to cook. But this time there wasn't too much prep because it was simple, but it looks amazing. But usually, um, we have a whole sink full. Um, it's really kind of a pain to be on. It's not a pain, but it's just a it's lot a mess. of stuff. But I enjoy doing it for you guys. I mean, it's my pleasure. It's what I want to do. Just the fact that you guys are coming in, tuning in. I think uh, it's worth it. Uh, Max P says your finale dish. I would love that. It sounded so good. Yes, I'd love to make that, that. But I do that. In the future, we have to get a lot more time. Definitely. Uh, Luke says my chef instructor hates Mac Chef Junior for some weird reason. My chef instructor hates Mac Chef. Oh, that's bad. That's all right. Okay. That's okay. Uh, someone said uh, uh, something with bacon. A a stuffed French toast. Stuff That's a good French idea. Toast. That is a good idea. I saw that bread. before. That was cool. That That's was a good cool. idea. I don't know. I mean, I have really good friends. Do we have a French toast on the website? I think it's on the website. It's yeah, right. it's on. Yeah, I actually have a my world renowned, famous, award winning, uh, restaurant quality Michelin star. No, I'm just kidding. But the French toast is really darn good. So it's on my website. It's zach-car.com. Z-A-C-K-R-A. Um, it is like so delicious, my own recipe, and it's to die for. Speaking of which, I haven't had that in months, so I'm gonna have to make that tomorrow morning or soon. I'll have to make it eventually. Uh, have you ever made a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Have you ever made a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I've never heard of that. To be honest, I hate jam and jelly. Uh, something with potatoes, a dish with potatoes. A dish with potatoes? Potatoes are good. Oh, I love potatoes and steak. <laughs> Are we could do like a trio yeah. of potatoes. Maybe that that's actually a good idea. Maybe. Yeah. You know, I was thinking we take trendy dishes and you make them elevated. Yeah, why don't you guys like leave Like put some dishes them. you guys like. We can elevate them. Yeah. Someone said maybe some sushi. Uh maybe sushi. Some sushi. I'm not the biggest fan of sushi. Sushi is extremely technical. It is, I don't know, like I don't expect someone to go to the home and make sushi. Yeah. So I'm not trying to so make something that you guys can do. Because it's, like, literally all you need was, like, for this dish was potatoes, lamb, onion, butter, corn, basil, lemon juice, and oil. I mean, that's pretty much what everyone has. Uh, apart from corn, I mean, everyone has onions, corn, basil, lamb. I mean, it's pretty accessible, to be honest. Um, at culinary class, I cook with your favorite ingredient, zucchini. Oh, oh, I love it's zucchini. A joke, sarcastic. It's so delicious. I hate, I hate zucchini. Okay, so Luke was being sarcastic. <laughs> um, Dia, do you and your brother argue sometimes? I'll let him answer that. We're just like the best brother and sister in the world. No, I mean, we all love each other. But at the same time, every sibling have their rivalries and fights and arguments. Uh... I just want to eat what you made in front of you now before it gets cold. That's what Jamie said. I just says. want to eat what you ate in front of you now before it gets cold. Um, that's a, I mean, my sister's gonna have to eat it, so. That's alright. Um, uh, do you like slushies? <laughs> do you like slushies? Yes. One time, this is actually a hilarious story. That was really fun. So one time, I used to go to a tennis academy in Florida, and it was a really hot day, and then we used to do a lesson there, and then also the group session, and we were waiting, and it was so hot, like everyone was getting heat stroke. So, I, so our dad took us to, to 7-Eleven, and usually we only buy like one Slurpee and share it, but for some reason, he, did, he decided to buy us an extra large Slurpee for each one of us. But oh, five so minutes later, day. mine is basically done, and then my dad's like, oh, where did the Slurpee go? And it's like, oh, it's my stomach. And I just grab her Slurpee. I think we play tennis, then we play tennis again. That and I went on a complete day. sugar rush for the rest of the day, but that was so good. I mean, I can literally eat uh, Slurpees every day or slushies because they're so good. Um, Zach, uh, do you like, I have a few questions, so yeah. quick fire. Uh, do you like shepherd's pie? Yes. I hate it. I like it. Um, a spaghetti and milk bar and um, spaghetti and meatballs with garlic bread, nope. please. Oh, I love meatballs. spaghetti and milk bar. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna gonna say. Okay, I'm just kidding. I like spaghetti and meatballs with the garlic bread. Yes. Uh, no, to elevate. To elevate. Oh, okay. to elevate it. Uh, someone else said crack, crack, crack. 
I think crock pot loaded mac and cheese. We make really good mac and cheese. That has That's a really true. good mac and cheese recipe. It's like a cream cheese and Gruyere cheese. It's so good. It's heavy cream. It's so good. We like um crave it all the time. <laughs> At least and, once a week. And, any time I want pasta, I, that's what I go for because I can literally eat bowls of it with a nice Slurpee or a soda, and it just—that's just my comfort food. So. Uh, do you know how to bake? You know how to bake, yes. Um, who's your favorite tennis player? My favorite tennis player would be Federer and Serena. Uh, but I think Federer just got like knee surgery right now or something. Oh, he so. was like silent knee surgery. I didn't yeah. even know about it. Yeah, I know. I didn't know about it either until a few days ago, but. Yeah. Um, okay, I think it's time to guess. Oh, Unless you guys have any more questions. Yeah. You pop, you guys want any other dishes you guys want us to make next week? We'll, we'll make a list. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let me know because uh, me and our special guests are so excited and kind of what to cook. We haven't really figured out all the details yet, but we'll get to it. Even a week after that, yeah. anything. You guys want anything? Zach, to make yeah. anything? That would be awesome. We'll, we'll just send him a DM on anything. Yeah, DM me on, tag me on Instagram and Twitter. I always kind of check it out. I respond to pretty much all my DMs. So definitely kind of let me know. Okay, right, I think so it's I think time to, it's if time you guys want to guess, guess, we'll guess yep. right now. We'll start it. So do you want to like have a user or is this yep. okay? I think this is okay. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, someone said you should have a vote on a dish on social media. You that would be fun. vote on a dish, yeah. Um, well, last time I did a vote, I didn't get too many votes, but that was actually when I was starting on my social media, so I don't know, maybe, maybe I will. I'm not too sure. All right, so we're going to start up our guest broadcasting. Uh, we'll do it here. We can do it here, and then we can pull up a chair. All right, one sec. One sec, guys. All right, we're good. Hi guys, all right. So, do you want to bring that over there? Or is he okay? All right, we'll, we'll, let's, we'll bring it over there. Someone said, Zach, what were you for Halloween? What were you for Halloween? Well, I was actually like, oh, this cool, like, makeup. My mom did like, this stuff on my face for a Halloween kind of Terminator, Terminator. costume. It was really it was cool. It was really cool. All right, so one second. I think the thing is on the camera. Yeah, there no problem. Are. You're trending right I'm now. Trending. Yes, awesome. Perfect. That is awesome. One sec, we're just trying to align this camera a little bit better. I think it's got to crouch down. You want to move it back just a little bit? Sorry, guys. One sec. Uh, should, should we bring a chair into? Yep. All right. Um, I think that should be good for now. Before we get a chair, we'll, we'll be all good. All right, so I'm going to start. I'll bring a chair in. Yep. One sec, guys. One sec. I'm trying to get this nice and ready for you guys. Maybe you'll see my face. Uh, probably a little bit more up. We'll sit, yo, we're, yo, yo, we'll be good once it starts. Sorry, well, once we get the chair in, so if you guys could just give me one second, I'll be happy to guest broadcast as many as I can. I'll try to get through as many as I can, then we'll have to wrap it up. But like I said, you guys have to tune in this Monday, and we're not sure about the date or the time yet, but it will be on Monday, so definitely if you guys could. Yep, yeah. alright, that's awesome. Alright, I think. I think this will be better. And like I said, if you guys can invite your friends, that would be so awesome. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the first guest broadcast. Alright, I always hit the wrong button there. There we go. Alright, we're starting off. Uh, one sec. Oh my god, I hate, keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, there we go. We're connecting to Luke and we're trending. Hey, Zach again. <laughs> hey, Luke, how are you? Good? I'm good. Alright, so, so. Uh, how's everything going on with your cooking class? Because last everything, time you were doing everything's going pretty well. Um, we wrapped up vegetables. Um, That's cool. We're not doing anything next week because like the whole school thing is going to be busy, so we're not unfortunately not oh. cooking next week. But we are moving yeah. on to salads and sandwiches okay. after That's that. Cool. That's awesome. So, so what did you learn about the, the vegetables? We made um many different types, like we done glazed carrots um that's cool today we made like vegetarian chili which contains zucchini like i said um <laughs> um what else did we make we made jeez we made sauteed spinach we've done jesus we've done so much it's just hard to remember yeah. all of it i know there's so much for, for vegetables yeah um, well, I we learned a lot from it 
Yeah. Yeah, I posted a video of me like blow torching it and I accidentally did one on my cutting board and then obviously if you put flame on a cutting board it's gonna get brown by the time I wasn't thinking, so oh, one sec. Sorry one sec, we're trying to get this Sorry, camera yeah. on. It's I okay. Really yeah. Hey. Oh you're trending. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright. Thank oh, you also, guys so like, much. The other day, awesome. I got like a late Christmas gift. I got a creme brulee torch and ramekins, and I'm like, wow. oh my god, like I've wanted this for so long. So I'm like, that my dad's so coming home from Hong Kong, and I'm going to surprise him by making creme brulee. That is awesome. Hopefully I'll take a video of me torching it, and then I'll DM it to sure. you or, or tag you. Uh, yeah, why don't you just tag me on Instagram? That would be awesome. All right. I actually have a creme brulee recipe that, that I'll be posting soon. So maybe if you want to ch check it out, it's a no bake, and it'll set like really quickly. Sure. Yeah, yeah they're it's, tiny. Depending. Yeah, the, well, I made them kind of like inside these tiny molds. So maybe if you want to check out the recipe. It's it's like these mini kind of creme brulees I did on my previous uh, broadcast. I don't and know if you remember. Yeah, and it's um. Maybe size, but you yeah. Too. Yeah, it was the creme brulee with the champagne grapes, the sweet cream cheese, the ganache, and the raspberries, and it was so good. Oh, that's Kyrie. cool. Uh, Kyrie said, I love creme brulee. I love creme brulee. Yeah, it's so good. Well, like I said, the recipe that I was using, it's with cornstarch, so it, it helps set it really quickly. And since I did them inside the molds, it's set in about like an hour or two, which is really quick. And it was no bake, because typically when you do a creme brulee, you have to bake it, and then it sits for like 12 hours. Right? Yeah, sometimes overnight. Yeah. No, that was awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Luke. You were awesome. And thank you. Yeah, so like, like I said, hopefully you can sing again uh, next time. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, thank you so much, Luke. Bye. Anytime. Bye, Zach. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh, all right. Sorry. We're trying to get this camera going. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go into the next one, and we're trying to – I'm trying to fix this. There we go. All right. It's good the way it is. Perfect. All right, awesome. So it's connecting right now, and if you guys want to guest broadcast, I think this is the last one, please let me know. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, I'm just, like, in my parents' room right now. I'm really sorry I haven't been on, like, I was in a play at my school, so it's like, it's really been busy. No worries. Me. <laughs> so. How, how did your play go? Um, it was really good. We did three That's shows, good. and... It was really hard, but there are a lot of people, so. Yeah, I don't remember the last time. I think the last time I was in a play was when I was in grade two, <laughs> which is really <laughs> funny, but it was, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was there are always lots of fun. Oh, hey. That's so cool. Um, My brother and my dad, I think, yeah, you do tennis. Um, My dad and my brother do tennis a lot. Um, yeah. I think like, I'm not that good at it, but if you get like, do you think I should do it? Well, well, as long as they're playing and staying active, that's like really. That's also one of the things because I do play tennis a lot. I am pretty active, so well, as long oh, as they're having a good time, that's really all that counts. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, do you like to cook? I mean, last time I cooked, I almost burned myself. So you almost burned yourself? Why? What happened? Um, I was like. Baking. I was like making um I actually forgot what I was making but I was making it and then I, I the stove got really hot so that I just like almost put myself oh because w was it like bubbling up and then like kind of yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that happens a lot especially if you're making a tomato sauce um or tomato soup it tends to like bubble up and splash so what yeah. you could do like if you're trying to like stir it or something grab um a lid kind of like as your kind of shield so you put it right on and you can grab a really long wooden spatula or something so you would just go like that and that way anything that would try to splatter you would just go on the lid so maybe oh you can yeah try. i remember that <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, it's kind of like a shield <laughs> uh i know you have a cat right do you know where it is okay. uh sorry do you know where your cat is he's actually cat. upstairs right now so he's so cute though like you never know yeah. Instagram, but it's so cute. Yeah. I have dogs and I have fish, but they're just somewhere. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, tell your sister I say hi. If she's yeah, here. hi. If she's right I here. see ya. Uh... 
She's going like a celeb now. It should be the Zack and Zia show. <laughs> yeah, wait, where's your brother? Oh, uh, my brother, he's actually, it's pretty late. It's almost nine. So he's probably off to bed by now. Like 544 here. I live in California. Oh, oh, that's why, because it's quarter to nine in our time. So he probably won't go to bed. Yeah, I have family in Florida, but like I never go to Florida. It's like too long of a really? flight. Yeah, I love Florida though. Yeah, no, really. No, awesome. Yeah, no, Florida's awesome. Like, oh, if you go, if you if you're coming to Los Angeles, you should go to the Grove. There are a lot of people who might see you. That's cool. I'll, I've never heard of that because I don't know too many places it's, in LA, but I'll. I'll it's, definitely... um, it's a it's a mall. It's an outdoor mall. It's just really oh. fun. There's like. A lot of stuff. That's cool. I'll t- ho- hopefully, if I get some time, I'll check that out. Because even though it's kind of like a treat for me to go to LA, I'd still be kind of busy. But uh. all right. Well, thank you so Wait. much once again. For oh no problem. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Thank and hopefully, you can tune in uh, next Monday. I'll be having a really special guest, and I'll be doing the. Oh broadcast. really? Yeah, in in, in California. Next Monday, we still oh, cool. I'll be yeah I'll be on California time, so I'm still trying to figure out the details and the time, but I'll post it on my social media. So, oh yay, I'll check it. Yeah, and maybe I'll see you. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you once again for tuning in. Oh You're no awesome problem. With all the support. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Someone said, "Dude, you were awesome on my junior." Dude, one sec. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys. All right. So do your awesome on MasterChef. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going, yep, going on to the next one. And Anyone else want to guess? Yeah. Let us know. Otherwise, we'll wrap, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. All right. So I think we're connecting any second now. There we go. I think I... Hello. We're good. Hey. Hi. How are you? I am a potato. I don't think so. Yeah. I can hear. Hey guys. Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear us now? Is it like I don't know okay. is it the mic or we yeah, they can can you hear them? No. I can hear. Really? The mic is in. Hello? Oh, sorry. Okay. Hey. Hi. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Thank you. Sorry about that. I could think our, we're having trouble with our mic. Yeah, but we have Play-Doh in our hands. <laughs> um, we were just waiting for um to video chat with you, so we were just like playing with Play-Doh pretty much the whole time. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So how are you guys doing today? We have Facebook. Wait, what? How are you guys doing today? I am doing good. Okay, ask if you have Facebook. Yeah, I, do. Yeah, I, do have, I do have Facebook. <gasps> I want to give you my Facebook. I want yeah. Facebook. I, I'm pretty sure I know I do have all, all the social media, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, Vine. Music. I started out my own Vine and YouTube. So that's really awesome. Yeah, hey, uh, Zach has a friend account. Just go and friend yeah. him on Facebook. I think I also have a fan account on Facebook. You too. have a friend, you yeah. have a fan account, and you have a page. Yes, yeah, so that's awesome. So if you guys could also uh, like give that a like, that would be so cool. Um, I what's your Facebook? Sorry, I just type in Zach Kara. Oh, Facebook. Yeah, if you just type in Zach Kara, it's uh, Z A C space K A R A, and you should get. It. Okay. I'm if you see a friend sure. request, it's gonna be from Navi Hugh, okay? Awesome, thank you. Yay! Yeah, any anyone actually. If you just friend yeah. him on Facebook, he'll add you. Yeah. So where do you guys live? We live in Hawaii. Hawaii? Like a tropical really? island. Yeah, Hawaii. Really? You know, that is so cool. I've never I've never been there. I've always wanted to go there. But I've never been there. That is so cool. Yeah, like, Hawaii isn't, like, the place where it's, like, oh, tropical places, let's go drink fruit punch. Yeah, it's, like, it's just, like, a normal world, basically. <laughs> um, It's yeah. just, it's just, they don't, it doesn't snow here. It pretty much just stays, like, summer all, all year round. 
Yeah, but there's a lot of beaches here too, so it's fun. Yeah. So you guys do a lot of surfing there, or? I bodyboard. You body, that's cool. I think I've gone like bodyboarding once a few times, but not really. Like, no, like with the paddle dumb thing, that was just like, yeah. not not really though, but I've always wanted to go surfing, but I've never gone. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> ah, my plate all fell. So, so do you guys like to cook? Or? Um, nope. I cook. I only probably make like Simon though. If I tried to cook, I would burn down the house. <laughs> well, all I don't know about that, but. Like, I think the first time I used a stove, I think I set the stove on fire. I set a toast, two toasters on fire. And I was trying to cook. Yes. Really? Yep. I said this though. Let's get another go. I mean, what 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 you could do is um start with something simple where you don't have to use like a knife, and then I mean you're obviously gonna ask them to use a stove, so you can just ask your parent to cook it until like eventually like you can teach you. So it's like something like, <laughs> toast. like like you can take the slices of bread and mix it with the egg, and then just ask your parents to. Okay. Oh, do you play Roblox? Roblox? No, I, I don't. Hmm. <laughs> um, are you a gamer? Um, well, I play PS4, but that's pretty much about it. I don't really play, like, phone games or computer games. Mostly, like, whenever I want to play a game, I just go up to the PS4. Because it's also, I just really like the, like, the FIFA, Madden, uh, kind of like an adventure game or something. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, like, I play Xbox 360, GameCube. That's cool. Um, PC games and all these other things. Well, that's awesome. All right, well, once again, I think, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have been awesome. And really, thanks so much for guessing me. Yeah, we'll watch you till, like, you get off of broadcasting. <laughs> Thank you. Well, like I said, if you guys could tune in this Monday, that would be so awesome. I'm having the special guest. Um, I'm not too sure about the details and the time yet, but it will be on California time. But I'll be posting it on social media, so if you guys could check that out, that would be so cool. Okay, we'll check it out. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Oh, one sec. There we go. All right, um, I think we don't have any more guest broadcasts. Um, if, if you guys want to, um, I think I'm going to have to wrap this because it's been almost two hours, but it was been so awesome. So quick little recap. At the start, we had a Siri malfunction. No, I'm just kidding, but the app quit, and we were trending. So we had to restart with that. So, okay, we got trending. That was awesome. Oh, we actually just got a guest broadcast. So this will be the final guest broadcast, and I'll be wrapping this one up. So one sec, it's just about to start connecting, but like I said, that's going to be the last one, and I'll be wrapping that up. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will connecting. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I think it just cut out for a sec. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working. All right. Well, let's give it a sec, see if it unfreezes or something. Um, like, I can kind of hear, but not really. <laughs> Zia, what do you want to do? can't hear anything. Yeah, we can't hear. I, I'm, I apologize. Okay, to wrap it up, guys. Yeah, we think we're also going to have to wrap it up. I apologize. It's just, I can't hear anything. Like, the whole screen is frozen. Yeah, I just lost connection. So, all right, guys, I think we're going to have to wrap this one up. It has been so awesome. We made delicious lamb dish and answered a bunch of questions. And like I said, next week, you guys got to tune into my Monday broadcast. And we're still figuring out the time and the details. So check out my social media. And like I said, super secret guest. So I'm looking forward to that. So uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to to wrap this up and thank you so much for tuning in if you guys could follow me on social media instagram twitter facebook my username is zach underscore car for twitter and instagram for youtube and facebook it's zach car z-a-c 
space K A R A. And if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be so cool. I'm really trying to get as many as I can right now. So once again, thank you guys. And we're, we're going to have to wrap this up, but thank you guys so much. And see you next week. Bye.